What's good folks, it's Nightmare Frame here with a new Warframe video coming at you with an advanced focus guide. Focus is essential to make the game smoother and efficient. Focus is when the Tenno unlocks their true abilities set by the five great Tenno schools, and those are Matarai, Naramon, Unairu, Vazarin, and Xenoric. Focus is used in various game modes and even in builds. The game mode that needs the use of all your focus schools are Eidolon Hunts. One of my most asked questions when I stream Eidolon Hunts is, how do you dash so far and fast? Well, you get that when you combine two focus schools. But before I get into that, let's go over what focus schools are, what they do, and how to farm focus. Xenric, the school of the arcane, the best for energy management and regen. This school would literally be the most useful thing in 99% of all the game's content. And it should be the first focus school you need to start working on. Without this school, it will be hard to start building up for Eidolon Hunts, as it boosts the two other schools. Naramon, the school of tacticians, great for mobility and aggression. This is what gives you distance and speed to void dash. Matarai is the school of fighters. It plays the biggest role in Eidolon hunts, as three of your teammates will be running the school for the Eidolon shield phases. Vazrin, the school of protectors, the support school. Unairu, the school of the indomitable. This is the other main focus school in the hunts, and what you should focus on last. Now that you know the schools, let's get started on how to farm focus. Cause if by any chance you started with a different school, all other schools will be locked. And you need focus for that specific school to unlock it. It's 50,000 focus to unlock one school. It may sound a lot, but it's very minuscule when you see how much else is needed. To start earning focus, you will need focus lenses. You'll be rewarded with regular lenses from quests and bounties. But what you need are the Greater, Eidolon, and Lua lenses. But I suggest starting off with the greater lens. You can find those in the market. They cost 40 platinum each. Or buy the blueprint which will take longer to craft. So I highly suggest buying it with plat, as you're going to be spending plat regardless. A regular lens converts 1.25% of excess affinity gained into focus. The greater lens will convert 1.75%. Eidolon Lens converts 2.25% and Lua Lens converts 3.25%. Okay, so let's farm Focus. Just like Syndicate Standing, Focus has a cap. The daily Focus cap is dependent on your mastery rank. The higher you are, the more you can earn in a day. But you can earn a lot more Focus when doing Eidolon Hunts. Don't worry, we'll get to that. Okay, so there are three ways to farm Focus. Regular Missions, Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, and Eidolon Hunts. Once you've installed your lens on your Warframe and weapons, because affinity will be gained from every weapon and Warframe that can kill, you can enter missions and pick up focus beacons. Once these are picked up, you will have a set amount of time to kill enemies and earn as much focus within that time frame. You can go with Equinox to put enemies to sleep to get stealth affinity boost, even more affinity gain from kills, but it's less efficient this way. The second is by doing Elite Sanctuary Onslaught. You can earn focus from a regular Sanctuary Onslaught, but Elite has higher level enemies that offer more affinity and has better rewards. So the main things you need to have when farming focus in ESO are number one, lenses equipped on a room clearing DPS Warframe. When you equip a lens on a Warframe, a percentage of affinity you gain from kills will be converted to focus gained. And Warframes like Saren, Equinox, Volt, and Mirage can clear hordes of enemies with ease. Number two, an affinity booster. Oh yeah, more XP equals more focus. And number three, a Smita Kavat for even more XP. Using the Charm mod as it will give you several buffs and one of them happens to be an affinity booster. Along with that mod, you will use Tech Enhance that gives 30% additional duration to those buffs. Elite Sanctuary Onslaught is currently the best focus farm second to Eidolons. You can either go solo or in an organized squad, but I highly suggest joining a squad for your first time. As shared affinity helps with earning focus as well. An organized ESO group will have two to three room clearing DPSs and one or two supports. It depends how you play. You'll be able to earn a lot of focus in no time. Once you start earning focus, the question is how to spend it. Now each focus school has their own abilities called ways, which unlocks a diverse set of abilities that enhances the operator's combat capabilities, improves gameplay and mobility. Each way needs to be ranked up to be useful. And you guess it, it needs focus to rank up. Each ways are split into three categories, and those are active, passive, and waybounds. Active ways are abilities your operator can perform, like void mode, void dash, 
and Void Blast. Void Mode is when your operator enters the Void Plane. This turns your operator invisible to enemies and is immune to all damage and status effects. Void Dash, this requires the operator to be in Void Mode first and lets the operator dash to the Void Plane, a launching operator towards a certain direction. And Void Blast is when the operator unleashes Void Energy in short bursts. Think of it as a melee Hadouken. And each focus school has their own versions of these active ways. Onto the passive ways, these are abilities that affect the operator and Warframe passively. And lastly, Waybounds. These are the important ones in Eidolon Hunts. These are also passive abilities that enhance the operator, but they can be unbound, meaning you can use these abilities with other focus schools. Example, getting the effects of Naramon abilities while in Xenric, or vice versa. There are two Waybounds available in all focus schools, so don't get too excited. Let's start off with Xenric, since it's the first school you need to deal with. Before starting, you would need to level up the first Way node. You don't have to max it to move on to the next one. Once that's done, grab Energizing Dash. This grants you energy regen when you dash to a spot. You've probably seen me doing this here and there. Very useful for your day-to-day -day mission. To begin your Eidolon hunting endeavor, you need to unlock your first two Waybounds in Xenric. That grants your operator a larger energy pool and energy regen. Trust me, you're going to need a lot of energy doing Eidolon hunts. Once you're done here, move on to Naramon. With Naramon, you're only going to need one thing, and that is Mind Sprint. This grants your operator 120% Void Dash Speed allows you to travel further than normal, and that is very crucial in Adelon Hunts. Once you have these unlocked, you're almost ready for your first hunt. Since Matarai is going to be what we use the most in hunts, we won't need to unbind the Waybounds on this tree, just to make it easier. And it's the one that grants us additional damage towards the Eidolon Shields. You want to work your way to Void Strike, don't make the same mistake I did and fully level up Void Radiance, as you do not necessarily have to fully level up a node to move to the next one. Void Strike allows us to build up stacks that multiplies our Void Damage. You build up these stacks by going into Void Mode, and upon leaving Void Mode, you are granted these stacks. Any form of attack will consume a stack, so careful not to accidentally waste them by shooting or getting out of your arc wing using a melee. Next, you're going to grab the Waybounds, but you do not need to unbind them since you will be in this school and they will always be active. Madurai Waybounds help you with Amp Energy and Energy Regen. Once you have these unlocked, you're ready for your first hunt as a VS. And as the VS, aka Void Strike user, this is split into the Lure Handler, Volt, and Harrow. When you get into the DPS role, you would need the Unairu Focus School. This provides your team with Unairu Wisps, granting them 100% more Void Damage. And when you combine this with Void Strike, well, you'll be dealing a lot more damage to the Eidolon Shields. And Vazarin is just there to make your operator have more health. Hunting Eidolons grants you various rewards, Arcanes being the most sought after reward. But you also receive Eidolon Shards. These Shards can be converted into focus. Just like how Syndicate Medallions grant you additional standing towards the Syndicate, Eidolon Shards does the same with focus. Each tier of shards grants a certain amount, so once you've farmed the focus you need to start hunting, you can earn the rest even faster by hunting down those Eidolons. And that is the focus guy, ladies and gentlemen. If I miss something, do leave it down in the comment section. Think of this as a revised episode 1 of the Eidolon Hunting Guide series. Do check out the other episodes to get you more informed in the hunts. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful and informative. If you did, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the for more Warframe content, streams, and so much more. Do refer to the description. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.